Hi, and thanks for stopping by Safe by Grace, um, reignaforjesus.blogspot.com. Um, this is probably one of my first vlogs on here. I've been doing a lot on my uh, crafty mom um, blog. But I just had some stuff on my heart that I wanted to share with you. Um, just that I've been going through and wanted to encourage you. And just let you know that you're not alone and... God is going to see you through this. Um, I've just been going through a lot of stuff lately and just spiritually and um, I haven't really been posting a lot on here just because I didn't really um, know what to put. Just I didn't really have any, I mean I had things on my heart but didn't know what to share and how to share it. I kind of just lost that posting ability I guess. And, um, so I wanted to just encourage you and let you know if you're going through a season of dry or stale or stagnant or, um, feeling alone or even depressed, um, when you're just being a mom and working, um, you can feel a lot of that disconnection. Um, with your family, even with God, friends. Um, and so I, I kind of been going through that uh, these past couple weeks. And a lot of it was just me being stubborn and not really wanting to just sit and be still and hear what God was trying to speak to my heart. And um, it just everything seem like rush, rush, rush. We wake up, we go to, you know, we get ready, go to work, go to, um, come back home, and then, you know, we're tired from the day, and, um, so I just got caught up in, I call it the rat race, because I feel like it's just a rat race. It just goes and goes and goes, and I just came to this point where I knew that, you know, if something was wrong, like, this is not how God wants my life at this time. So I was just praying and asking God, you know, what is it um, that's keeping me? Why is, I feel like life is just flying by so fast and I'm not accomplishing anything and I'm not furthering your kingdom. And last night, um, I was able to, to viewed two testimonies that really spoke to my heart and really just brought me back to my purpose in this life that God has given us. Um, it's not about us. Mommy? Yeah? yeah. Sorry about that. Um, so as I was saying, it's not about us. It's about Jesus and sharing the gospel, sharing our testimony. And I think a lot of what I was doing, I was focusing on other things and putting other things before God. And so, um, I think we just have to get down to the bottom of it and see what's holding us back from letting go and letting God and just really seeking Him. And sometimes we can get so distracted and caught up in this world and, and forget about our purpose. And if you're in that place, I really encourage you to take just a moment, however long it will be, and just sit at his feet and ask him to show you what it is, what is your purpose here. And I promise you, he will show you and he will touch your heart and um, you just have to ask him um, and seek him. Um, the Bible says, draw near to him, and he will draw near to you. And that's such a true verse. Because I felt, you know, uh, not connected to him, and I couldn't understand why. And it was like, duh, you're really not in his word, and you're really not seeking those things that are uh, from him. And it's a lot of what you put in yourself. If you're not seeking things that are 
uh, about him, you're not going to grow or you're not going to get encouraged. And, um, for instance, what you watch or what you see on the internet or just what your ears or your eyes are seeing and hearing. If you're putting in bad stuff, junk is going to come out. But if you're putting in the Lord, He's going to come out of you. And so I really just think that's what was happening to me. And so um just wanted to encourage you and let you know that you're not alone. I think we all go through this, um, I don't know, every now and then. Um, but it's just... If you are, you know, just stop dead in your tracks and just pray and ask God to help you to see you through this time um, because He will get you through it. it. It's it might take some time and sometimes it might not happen overnight or sometimes it will. You just have to be patient and just keep seeking Him and open your Word and keep putting things that are of Him in you. Um, like I love to go on Pinterest. That is very distracting thing. It can be very good, but very distracting. So if all you're doing is just putting that inside of you, what is going to come out? Um, it's just like with eating. If you put junk in, obviously it's going to come out in your body. Um, so it's that same concept. What you put in is what's going to come out. And I've known this, you know, for such a long time. I've been saved for about 13 years this year and um, so anyways I don't want this to be boring but just wanted to encourage you and let you know that um, you know you're not alone in this if you're feeling alone depressed um, just disconnected I encourage you open your word and read God's word and pray um, prayer is so powerful it's just amazing at how powerful it is. And, um, you know, I have a hard time mem remembering things. And this verse spoke to me. Um, I have this little card we get from church. And it says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things. And all is capitalized. And bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. That's John 14, 26. So, I always use that excuse, well, I have a hard time remembering, and this verse, it doesn't give me that excuse, um, or it doesn't give me the right to have that excuse, because it says, the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things, and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. So, um, I have no excuse. If I am fearing that I can't remember this or I'm not an addict, I'm not, you know, good enough, that is a lie from the enemy. Don't believe those lies. Um, he will give you everything you need. And if you're afraid to share your testimony or just to minister to someone else, don't. God is with you. He will give you everything that you need. He will bring those verses to memory. He will... Um, give you the words to speak to wh whoever it is. And so I just wanted to encourage you in that, that if you're fearing, don't. Um, perfect love casts out all fear. And God is perfect love. And when we're putting God inside of us, there is no reason for us to fear. Um, another verse also that I want to encourage you is, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And that's 1 John 2.15. And so a little bit of what I was talking about, what you're putting in. If you're loving the world, that's going to come out in your actions, in what you put. If you, you know, if you have a Facebook or blog, it's really going to come out in there. And so I encourage you to just, you know, do a heart check and see if there's anything there that, it's not of the Lord to ask God to remove that from you. I mean, we might have temptations, and you know, here's another verse: "Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love Him." That's James one twelve. And so, um, 
you know, we are going to endure temptations, there's going to be trials and circumstances, and it all comes down to what we do with it. Are you going to serve God and glorify Him through it? Or are you going to do the opposite? And so um, that's where I was at. And, and so here I am encouraging you to just step out in faith, pick up your Bible, and just pray. Seek God with all your heart. And I promise you, He will meet you right where you're at. And um, he will see you through all your circumstances, all your trials. He will see you through it, even though right now it seems impossible. All things are possible with God. Um, and he loves you, and he wants the best for you. So whatever lies that you're listening to, whatever thoughts that you have that are negative, not of God, throw those away, throw them out the window, and seek God. Thank you. God bless. Don't know why. Look into the eyes of the broken hearted.